You know what? Now, wait just a minute. I know you're in a fragile state and all that, but I'm getting sick of something. Every time I've been with this quartet, you've introduced me. Since I joined them, you have got to that little strawberry part, and you get that smart aleck tone in your voice. If I wasn't a Christian, make me want to slap your face off. You think I'm an ignorant hick, don't you? You think I'm an ignorant hick. Just admit it, you do. Well, I got news for you, pal. I ain't no hick. What? I don't mean to blow up at you. I love you, but I just got some bad news from Strawberry. I called my dad right before we came on. You might saw me on the phone. I called him right before we came on stage. Yeah, I did, and he climbed the pole, answered the phone. <laughs> climbed the pole? Well, how do you answer a phone? <laughs> That's how I am. Strawberry. Yeah. I said, Dad, there's something wrong. What's the matter? I can tell. He said, well, we got some bad news today. He said, the biggest, you know, the biggest employer in that city is the zoo. The, the world-famous Strawberry, Strawberry Zoo employs a lot of people. Strawberry's got a zoo. Well, it did have till today. They had to close it down lock, stock, and barrel. The chicken died. <laughs> this guy's all right. He's all tore up. It's just that I've got so many good childhood memories of going down there at Christmas time. They put a little white beard on his beak and call him St. Chick. <laughs> He's all tore up. If he had a brain, he'd take it out and play with it. <laughs>